Uh, hi, mateys! Welcome back to Let's Play Fable 2, cooperative, of course. I am Captain Don Keys, and joining me is... I'm Chocolate Milk. Yes, indeedy. And we happen to be in Bowerstone Old Town right now, because we're going to go on our quest and journey to Oakfield, like Teresa told us in the past episodes. Alrighty. Unfortunately, I'm not as much of a sexy sidekick as you are when you join me, but that's okay. That's no, okay. No, because... Unfortunately, the only choices for male characters are bald, evil man, or I guess not necessarily bald, I guess more hairless, because you're the neutral, I guess, bald man, and yes. then good ginger guy, right? And then there's a ginger, and I was like, ah, I don't really feel like having a soul, soulless person yes. today, so, you know. Soulless. And of course, Doggy sees a dig spot, but we don't really need that, because we might as well just go on ahead and, you know, hopefully not dig up stuff. There's not, re there's not really any point in co-op either, because then you get stopped. Oh, you mean uh, when you do the dig spot, the henchmen get stopped or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, so... I don't see the point. And alright, there we go. So the next area that we have managed to come across is Rook Ridge, which isn't too interesting or spectacular, I guess. Oh, hello, person. <laughs> Bye, person! <laughs> Jeez, oh my goodness. But, um... Yeah, I don't really... There's not too much of a, I guess, importance in this area that I can think of, except uh, oh my goodness, this broken, broken carriage thing. It's so, just one of those passerby areas kind of thing. Yeah. So of course, I love looting things. I love the monies and stuff. So we're going to just go pick up all these shenanigans like an apple pie. Mm, That's pie. amazing. Tasty. Is there anything over here? No, I don't think so. I think there's like some think... item over here. I don't know, I don't but of course. That. One other thing that we can do is to, I guess, stop this guy from raiding all this uh, carriage madness and turn off the safety and kill him, because, of course, I am an evil character, and you can get a lot of experience from that and all that. From killing people. Points. Indeed, so, and I think There's, you can also get a... Is there anything over here? Oh, let's check it out. This way. I think dog saw a treasure or something, but... There's like a I road over here. Or, is, oh. or does oh. it just loop around? Oh, oh no, no there's it's a... just a silver key chest for uh, the amount of silver keys that we don't have. Yay. Yeah, 25, I think it says, or 15. I, I don't can't know. read, honestly. But I guess we didn't exactly come across any other silver key chest, except one just before. But each silver key chest has a number written on them. And if you have a certain number of keys that matches that number, then you will be able to unlock the chest and get the contents within. Get some treasure. You got oh. the thing. Yep. Ya -da -da -da! It's all sparkly, too. Just like the opposite of Zelda. You get keys from chests in Zelda, and you use keys to open chests in this game. And in this game, keys are always in the most random places ever. Yes. Oh, oh my goodness, bandits! <sighs> what is this madness? I'm gonna shoot them with my pistol. I'm gonna shoot them with my pistol! <laughs> and I think I got damaged. Oh. Damn this cutscene thing! Okay, well... But whatever. I'm gonna sit here, because the henchman is usually ridiculously over... I don't know, I find that even if I'm playing on a save file that's not really uh, updated, I find the henchman's like a little ridiculously overpowered <laughs> compared to the main player. Which is why it's yeah. good to have a henchman, because it makes your life so much easier. I'd Seriously. say that's also the case, because they don't not only have the experience and uh, skills from their own play file, but they can also get scaled up to uh, what the host player has to make it easier for them if they're progressed in the story. I don't know. Slow mo kill. I'm also no, cause that, oh, yeah. pretty pretty sure because you only get like a certain amount of weapons to choose from. Like when you're a henchman, you don't really get to pick. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure, you know, the weapons they give you are pretty good too. Just also over here, I noticed that behind the statue, we have this little treasure thing of a magical, <gasps> wonderful silver, silver key. key. We got the silver key! My goodness, we were just talking about that. That's crazy. But... I think there's 50 or 30. 30 in this game. 30? Yeah, that's good. If there was 50, it would be a little bit of a large number, but thankfully that is not the case. So let's see. I'm pretty sure uh, there's 30 in every single oh my game. Goblins. I'm just gonna sit here and be a cheap ass and just shoot them from afar because I want it's okay. my uh, my skill experience. Which, by the way, all the experience I'm getting as a henchman is gonna transfer over to my main file. So yes, 
oh yeah. And it's the same thing with my character as well. I want to train her in a little bit of a strength experience sometimes so that I can increase her health bar. Because as you can see on the screen right now, it is pitiful. Look at that little thing. My goodness. <gasps> Doggy sees a treasure! Let's get it, because it's right in our way, right? I love how she opens up the chest like it weighs a thousand pounds. She's just like, oh, God, use both hands. Oh, God. Oh, man, using both hands, huh? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, that's what he said. I would use both of my hands. Oh, yes, indeed. But also, one special thing about that uh, book that we just got is that it teaches your dog new combat abilities so it can do more damage to people. So there we go. I also want to know who the hell keeps talking. Are you not getting that on your bottom bar? Oh, you mean the subtitles? Yeah. That's Teresa, or Theresa, or however you pronounce her name. No, it's, it's someone named Herman who's asking about a person named Joey, and seriously, it keeps coming up, and I'm like, who the hell are you talking to? Well, hopefully he is not looking for youngster Joey, because that guy's annoying. <laughs> Him in his shorts? <laughs> hey! You listen about my ratata! It's amazing! Doesn't he actually make a comment about how cool his shorts are, and you're like, sweet, bro, I love your shorts, you're like 12, get out of here. Yeah, I think if you, like, beat him in a battle or something, he's like, oh my goodness, my shorts. And then every time afterwards, if you register his phone number, he talks about his uh, ratata and how wonderful it is. There we go, and our dog's a level 2 star fighter! It's amazing. So I don't know if he got that little thing or not. That I did. Thing. Yes, that's good. You can help us beat more ass. Oh, look oh, at this. Oh, oh baby. Let's the bridge. Oh, look. Pass Another it. traveler. Want to get to Oakfield? You'll have to swim, lovey. Yeah, jump. They dare you. You need to jump there. Oh, I think they're triple daring us. Triple doggy daring. Just like our doggy. I actually like this part. You always have to be for once, the bandits are correct. Well, thank you. Oh God, those bandits are correct. I'm gonna shoot first before you uh, go across. Let's Bastards do it. They're taunting me. I don't think you can actually. I think you actually have to wait until you get to the other side, because they should be dead by now. That's probably. I'm jumping. Geronimo! Oh my goodness, I'm jumping too. With my my skirt. Hopefully there is no upskirt shots. You know. <laughs> no, it was all front chest. So if you were naked, you would be able to see all, all your front. Ah, oh, damn, I should have made my character naked. That is unfortunate. All that nakedness. Oh, my goodness! What is this? Hello? Oh. Can you hear me in there? You know, I think that's Herman. But seriously, <gasps> he he has been... Uh, you know, this game tends to glitch, and I don't have my sound on, or else I wouldn't be able to hear you. But seriously, it's it's been like, Joey, where are you since I started this recording? My oh, yeah, it is him. My oh, son yeah. Joey's in there. Well, guess what? We're gonna go find him. Can I turn the safety off and kill him? Not really. <laughs> Wish. I wish. Oh my goodness. Maybe we could go in know. together. There we go. Oh, we could also teach Doggy a new skill too. That's great. It can learn to hide its snout. That's awesome. Oh. Oh, and over anyway. Here. Oh, these are uh, dive spots. Which yes, are, indeed. Which are like dig spots, but in water. Yes. So actually, we could have gotten a dig spot before in uh, the Bower Tomb or Bowery Lake Tomb, or whatever that's called. Whatever the first dungeon was. Um, and we got an augment in that little uh, dive spot there. But... Um, oh, God. Oh, good. Oh, oh, geez. Yeah, yeah, this is all that about the camera angles and stuff. So you should be going first into the henchman, and that helps for better camera angles. Oh, okay. Lead the way, lady. The man leading the path, right? I'm the man. I'll go first. The, the man! I'm a man! I, yeah. eat, I do manly things like eat nails for breakfast and other man-type activities. I don't know. Yeah, like Twix bars or is it Twinkies that Mr. T sponsors? I don't even know. I have no idea. <laughs> All I know is he has a mohawk. Oh, man. oh geez. And these are Hobbs. Hobbs. Ho Calvin and Hobbs, what are you doing in this cave? They made the Hobbs look really, like, deadly in this game, actually. Yeah. Get They're kind of, kind of crazy. Yeah, they look much better than they did in the first fable, but they're pretty much the same thing. Oh jeez. How do you reset the camera angles, by the way? As the you press left button. 
Oh, that's how you do it. I was pressing, like, the right stick and the left trigger and all that so that we didn't have planks in our way while fighting. But whatever. That no, was man. Pretty interesting. Left button, bro. All right. Let's go upstairs. Oh, man. Yeah, let's do it. Let's find youngster Joey. Yeah, so this kid's looking for his son, which, I don't know. Do you really think he's okay in here? There, this place is crawling with hobs, but yeah. Oh, jeez, why is my character glitching? Man, oh man. Cause you're derpy. Yeah, cause my character's derpy, just like me, right? <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah. That's that, that's why it was. That's why it was a joke. A joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just following that golden trail will lead us to Joey, hopefully. And I do believe no, no don't hold up the uh, what you might call the expression wheel. Didn't mean to do that, but um. I do believe there's like a secret pathway or something in here that uh, when we practiced this, at least uh, a, a while ago when we did this, uh, we got lost in, which is weird. So I'm not sure if the trail will follow or something, but... Ah, uh, did we? I don't know. Maybe. I think it was just ahead, like right after this room that we got lost. I don't know, but... Or maybe we did some backtracking and... Maybe. Something. We'll see. I don't, I'm not really too keen on getting lost in here, but we will see. I, got, I just gotta say, this battle's kind of epic, at least compared to the other, like, solo battles that occur in these, uh, episodes of this game. Especially since, I don't know, I guess it's just because there's a lot of enemies in this room, and then we've just got two people kicking some ass and taking some Hobbs names. Yes, Hob names. <laughs> if you, Hobbs even have names. They did once, because Hobbs are actually children. Oh, man. Let's see if you can find another way in. While, while, while you stand here and do nothing, jerk off. I think it's up here, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's... Oh, the, the doggy's showing us the way for the quest! That's amazing! I guess because the golden trail shut off for some reason. I don't know why they did that. But... Probably because it's going towards the door, but you can't get through the door, so it stops or something. I don't know. Okay, but there we go. Thank you, oh, faithful <laughs> dog servant. And of course, vaulting jumped on your head somehow, like Mario! Well, that, that was like when I tried oh. to drown you. In the first yeah. first time we did co-op. That's crazy. And of course in here we've got big sacks of meat. Uh, and skulls and dead. And I should say dead meat, not... Is there anything over here? Yeah. Um, no. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, it's just So I don't know if we here. can go through... Oh! Bam! Oh, that's how you do it! Getting that general experience from pieces of wood. That's amazing. There's a hob over there, but I think it materialized into the wall or something. Oh man. And his son got turned into a hob, which <gasps> I no! think happens no matter what. I don't think that's something that can be changed. Okay, this makes sense, I guess. Because if you think of it in this way, in that every single, I guess, 10-year-old becomes a Pokemon trainer in the Pokemon universe, then um, hobs, in this universe at least, turn into children, get teleported into the Pokemon universe, just like youngster Joey, and then turn into hobs in this universe. That's how it makes sense. You just had to make a Pokemon reference, didn't you? It just I did. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez, suicide bombers. What the heck? Suicide Squad bombers. Ah, oh, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that should be the title of this episode. <laughs> I'm so funny. Yeah, no. you are. Um, you and your puns. I know. No, no. I'm not the pun master. There, there are people that are better with the ways of the pun than I am, but, you know... I do appreciate me a good pun every once in a while. You can also knock these hobs off the cliff, which makes them really easy to defeat. Especially because there's so many of them, and you probably at this point have a pitiful looking health bar. So, it helps to knock them over the edge. Or just yeah. fight them at a distance, I find. I always like using the force push uh, spell to push them off the edge. It's just fun doing that. It's because you're cheap. <laughs> it's just so fun! And I think that... Um, they get pushed off the edge only when uh, their health bars are really low. So if you like try to attack them near the edge, they won't fall off unless you damage them a little bit first. <laughs> but I think that's only to scale things. Actually, is there something over? No, that's not anything. Never mind. Forget I said anything. This is pretty epic because it's just like waves and waves of hobs. Oh, definitely. There we go. The only, I guess, annoying or unfortunate thing about. Um, using spells is that it takes a little bit to select the spells, so you can't really have a quick spell selector thing on the d-pad or whatever, uh, like an oblivion or something. And now we have to walk around if you want this chest. Ha, <laughs> we vaulted oh. at the same time. We're twins. Oh, man. I guess, uh, I don't know, I was trying to think of a pun like that, but, uh, I couldn't have anything. Oh, man, that, that dog! <laughs> I love dog. that dog's vaulting. 
Well, I guess we're done in this area. It's probably pretty much. I think we're almost out of this cave, actually. Unless we can, I don't know. Yep. Since of, uh, of course, youngster Joey's gone. Rest his poor soul. He will Q. find a new, a new joy with Radita. Q Q. Q Q more. And actually, I do believe this is probably a good place to stop this video. You know, just making it all the way up here. Probably. Indeed. So, um, I guess next time we'll just go through the rest of this hob cave and hopefully find out the fates of whatever else might happen. But I guess until next time, thanks so much for watching, everybody. See ya.